During the Christmas season, it is only natural for our thoughts to turn to some of the people who we lost over the past year. Derek Smith was laid to rest on August 15th after suffering a respiratory arrest at the untimely age of 34. And while we mourn his passing, the thing you have to remember is that sometimes what seems like an ending is actually a beginning. He could light up a room and when he came in and, and everybody could see the enthusiasm in his eyes and he's smiling, he's got a great smile. You can't even think about Derek Smith without uh, smiling or him bringing joy to you. He's just someone that cared, cared for kids, uh, loved his family, you know, would do anything for anybody. He did in 34 years what people can't do in 80 years. Derek Smith helped lead Louisville to their first NCAA basketball title in 1980 and played nine seasons in the NBA. Oh, fine block by Derek Smith. But if all you remember about Derek Smith are the high-flying highlights, Smith all the way! then you only know half the story. God-given talent put Derek Smith on the NBA's doorstep, but hard work and perseverance opened the door. It's a lesson that he passed on. He was someone that uh, kind of helped indoctrinate me into the NBA. He was hard on a lot of us. A lot of us, uh, Tyrone Hill, John Starks. Steve Scheffler, just a lot of players who came in as rookies together. You know, he kind of showed us what it was like to, to be an NBA player and how to compete night in and night out. At his funeral, uh, Jimmy McElvain, who was coached by him at Washington, and John Starks, and especially Danny Manning, came up with the idea that they wanted to do something to honor his memory in a dignified way. So this season, Derek's basketball family decided to wear their tribute on their wrist. Do you look down while you're on the court at that wristband sometimes? Absolutely. You know, what do you think? It makes me play harder. If I'm not playing hard, you know, I, I can hear him. He's telling me, hey, you're not playing hard. You're not, you're not giving it your all. Jim McAvane, there was an article recently that he did that just, oh my gosh, it just filled my heart. Um, and it said that he wears his heart on his wrist. Uh, after the games, if we get a chance, we see a kid, we'll, we'll give the kid the wristband and try to tell him a little something about Derek and, and what he means and, and what the significance of the wristband is. Derek Smith believes success is what you are, not what you hope to be. He was driven to maximize his potential and wanted the same for others. It just helps to know that, um, and I, you know, I just appreciate the fact that the guys are, are just keeping keeping him in mind. Um, he was very special. He'll live on for many, many years. His wife is special, his kids are special, and he was exceptional. He might have been the nicest, most special human being I've ever known. <laughs>